Okay, and now let's talk about uh, Constantine's discovery, how it all happened. He was um, a medical doctor who recently graduated from the best medical college in Moscow, Russia, and he was severely ill. He had the malignant form of hypertension, high blood pressure. Ironically, he studied this disease when he was in the medical college. And since he was a very good student, he knew everything about it. He tried all kinds of medication, which was available not only in Russia, but in the world at that time. But he was not able to improve his condition. He was very aware that there was no way to overcome that health issue. Uh, he believed that uh, only a few months, about three months, was left before he would pass away. He was a very strong person and um, he was able to continue working as a medical doctor despite the fact that he was constantly in pain. He had um, ferocious headaches, his kidneys were in pain and also often he would have um, pain in his chest as well. It was also difficult for him to give up and accept the fact that only a few months of his life are left for him. He was constantly thinking why people get severely ill, why so many people are ill, why so many people are suffering from various health conditions. It could be or it should be a reason for all of that and he was constantly thinking about it so one day um, he was in hospital where he worked as a medical doctor and it was his night shift he was in a room alone looking outside through the window at the dark um, sky outside and thinking what is a solution, what is the way to help himself and to help his patients as well. And suddenly he saw a very bright flash of light outside. And of course it's possible to speculate what was it, but it really doesn't matter much right now at least. So, because it was a very bright flash of light, he had to put his eyes down like this. And when he did that, when he looked down, he noticed that his chest and his stomach were moving a lot because of his heavy breathing. At that time, medical doctors, and him as well, were very aware that hypertension comes with heavy breathing and they thought that heavy breathing is the result of this disease as well as many other diseases. However, when Constantine looked at his chest and his stomach, he had, as he called it later, a crazy thought. He thought what if this heavy, deep breathing is not the result of my disease, but it's the cause of it? And immediately he decided to check his assumption. So he started breathing less. He reduced his breathing. Within a few minutes, his pain in his kidneys and in his heart as well, 
were reduced also, was reduced also. And when he found that, he was totally fascinated with the effect of breathing reduction. And he decided to check it again. So he started breathing deep again. He switched into heavy mouth breathing. And when he did that, his pain came back. So that was the moment of his discovery and many years of very hard work on proving his uh, discovery and developing his method followed after that. But at that night, Konstantin decided to try his method on his patients right away. So he went to one of the rooms where a person was having an asthma attack. And of course, as many asthmatics, he was breathing through his mouth in a very heavy way. So Constantine came to him and he said, please breathe less, please reduce your breathing. His patient was quite surprised. In fact, he said, Doctor, but before you recommended me to breathe deep, if it, when it was difficult for me to breathe. And Constantine said, yes, I know, but please do um, the opposite thing right now. So uh, that man uh, uh, switched into nasal breathing and started breathing class. And it happened to be very effective. The asthma attack stopped. So that was a first person who received help and was even able to stop his asthma attack by simply reducing his breathing. Konstantin was very excited about his discovery. And of course, as a young doctor, he felt that he should inform everyone about it. And first, he informed a famous, relatively famous doctor and academician who was his supervisor. And surprisingly, this person told Constantine not to tell anyone about this discovery. Of course, it was during Stalin's time in Russia, and it was um, rather dangerous for Constantine to present uh, such a revolutionary discovery, such a revolutionary thought, which would question uh, the traditional medical approach. Later on, Constantine was also recommended to move to a so-called city of academicians, Akadem Gorodok, the capital of Siberia, where he was given a laboratory, and that gave him a chance to work on his method. So he and many other medical doctors and scientists worked together on the development of his method. And it was very successful. In fact, uh, uh, many people uh, found out that Constantine's work, his method, could save his, their lives. And often, Constantine would be followed by patients who were whether helped by his drug-free method or were asking for um, Constantine's help. Unfortunately, this uh, did bother Constantine's colleagues, um, medical doctors, who uh, practiced the traditional approach and were trying to um, suppress symptoms by giving people various medication. And eventually, Constantine's work became too risky for them because they realized that they could uh, lose their livelihood 
if uh, Constantine's discovery would become known. One day when Constantine was away from his laboratory visiting Moscow, his laboratory was completely destroyed. All very expensive equipment which was in use in that laboratory was physically ruined and um, his data was compromised. But it didn't stop this, um, the knowledge about his discovery from spreading out, from spreading around. It was carried by his patients and it was passed and preserved. It was, I would say that it was mostly preserved by Clinica Buteka in Moscow, by um, Ludmila Buteka and Dr. Novozhilov, and it was passed to many people. And uh, we, people who work at the breathing center, are one of them.